Hello everyone, um, it is me, Bonnie Gamer 110 and today I'm going to be teaching you how to, the basics of SFM, or Source Filmmaker. So today, the things we're going to be going over is, um, creating a session in Source Filmmaker, spawning in models, lights, and cameras, um, learning about cameras, posing, um, light basics, camera basics, and, um, just the basics of animation in, in general. Now, I'm not the best animator at all. I'm still learning SFM. I suggest watching some other, like, um, this is not going to be on, like, the level of The Hottest Dog or, um, Derpy Horse 4 or Informa, but especially not Informa. He just released, um, Cradle's Remix, FNAF Animation. It was incredible. Um, Bon Bon Films. I'm not going to be on the level of any of those people. Um, X-Man's even better than me. And that's not even a surprise. He's been using SFM way longer. Um, he's even way better at lighting. Anyway, so to create a session, just it should just be a pop-up on Source Filmmaker. When you load up Source Filmmaker, you should get this little screen right here. So it says name. So name your session. Um, I'm gonna call it. Um, I don't know. Basics. Create. And then to load a map. Um, it says no map loaded. Um, so right click on this little black square, press load map, and then you have a selection of maps. You can get, you can get maps from the Steam Workshop. Um, that's also where you get models and, um, stuff. And so let's just pick a basic black void map. This is one of the maps that comes with Source Filmmaker, so you don't have to, you know, do anything. Um... Also, to any model I oh and to so you see it's all black. On um, press right click again and you see enable lighting. Do that and then you see. Um, then you see, I suggest um turning these things off and yeah um progressive refinement and ambient inclusion because the that will really lag your computer a lot. That will really lag SFM. So just to to move this, you already start off with um the work camera. So just use WASD to move around, um X to go down, E um that's what Z to go up, X to go down, Shift to go faster, Control to go slower. Um that's the simple basics of that, and to spawn in a model. Go, you can press check, press this check or right click on this little thing, and it says create animation set for camera, light, or model particles. And, um, I don't know what those two I mean, I kind of know about particles, but I'm not going to talk about them in um tutorials. Um, so let's start with um model basics. So, um, yeah, uh, let's just use Freddy again. You can get models from the Steam Workshop. I'll leave all the I'll leave the links to all the models I use to the model I, to this model um uh, in the description. Don't crash. Oh yeah. If your SFM crashes, it's no big deal. So you see, um I suggest so you see this little like line right here? That's because that's your first camera. Just click on work camera and then you're in your first camera, camera one. Again, use WASD to move around. So you might notice you can't move you oh to access his bones. Click this little plus button, and then a little body, like, things like body, arms, fingers, legs, and unknown. Unknown is just, like, things like his eyes, his jaw, his mask, his eyelids, um, his hat and stuff, like, accessories, kind of. But, um, so you might notice, um, you can't move him. Um, so you have to go over to this little thing right here. This is the move, this is the, um, the... What is it called? The um, the the motion editor. Um, so with the motion editor, this is where you can do things. This will um, um, do this, and this can go into specifics. This can go into specifics, and to go back, just um, press Z, Control and Z, then it'll take you back. Um, but yeah, if you want like random movements, use this. Um. Go yeet like that. Um, or you can just go with that. I don't use that one, 
to do a lot of things. I use this option because this has specifics like that or that or that. Um, but that, you know, on um, the simple stuff. Just go back. Um, so let's just go put Freddy here in a little pose, right? Um, go back. Um, so let's put him in a little pose. So, um, let's move his legs. Let's, um, Oh, also, you can just click in the middle of this to kind of get the same motion you get from this thing. And, oh, by the way, there's going to be multiple tutorials. This is just number one, just kind of the basics. Um, oh, my, I'm not the best person at tutorials. So, if this is a really bad tutorial, and then stop watching here. <laughs> That's all I can really say. Yeah, like if this is the tutorial for you, then I can't do much about that. So, uh, and um, so right here, if you want, okay, so I suggest just using camera one, but if you want to, Use a specific camera, just click that plus and do the camera. Then you have camera two, which when you go into camera two, you see it's stuck to where you want it. And if you want to move camera two, just click camera two and then you can move it around. But um but yeah. I just we'll get into the animating later. Um so just go back to camera one. Then, uh, if, yeah, that's a pretty good pose. Make it a good pose, at least. Um. Put Freddy. Um, let's get rid of his eye glow. I don't really want the eye glow. The eye glow f on this model is a separate model, so that's good. So now we got Freddy in a nice little pose, right? And let's open his mouth. Hold up. Hold up. did that then we can um open his endoskeleton jaw if you want that um so yeah it's the basics with that with posing and stuff um you can put his fingers but i'm not gonna do that um so then you want to get into lighting right because you know this is like really bad so let's just go up here right create new light then you notice know, where's the light so enable lighting and you'll see your nice little light there um, and you might think that looks really good, but it doesn't. Go and click the light and go into intensity. Put up if you want a really bright scene. Put down if you want a really dark scene. Um, that's the dark you can go. I suggest, like, if you want, like, a normal FNAF 1 scene, I would say, like, around there is good. Maybe a little. Um, I don't know, like... It's, it's like that. I don't know. Um, make it darker. FNAF 1's pretty dark, so no, no. If you want, like, a pretty bright game, then, like, obviously go up with the intensity. I don't suggest that, though. But honestly, the lighting didn't look bad like that, but, again, do that. So you want that, right? So then you just, so I suggest keeping one white light and then some other colored lights. So I suggest have one light behind Freddy, just kind of like illuminating 
his um his shoulders. So you just kind of get a nice little backlight, right? So it will make it a little bit. Can't really tell unless you're on the back of him that you can really tell. It doesn't do much though. Unless you want to, again, if you want specifics, drag, select the light, drag it over to here, and then you can, like, control the light. I definitely suggest doing this. It's a lot easier. Then do that, and you can go back to your camera. See how you just have, like, a little illuminator, illumination around Freddy? And then you can make it colored, like, you can make it... Purple, you can bring it up. Then, um, let's get another light. Um, let's get an under light because those are always nice. Um, then make the under light like any color you want. I'm gonna make it red just for the sake of the tutorial. So you got something you're happy with, right? So let's just say this is something you're happy with. Let's change this because this is ugly. Oh, hold up. There. Um, there we go. So say you got something you're happy with. Right? So you got that, and, um, yeah, so, basically, <laughs> e oh, um, to so you see, that's part of the, uh, this, this tutorial is all over the place, I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> anyway, so you got that, right? Um, and you're like, hey, I want to add, like, a cool background light, so then, go back to, um, one get a new light then right click the light and select enable volumetrics so then we got a big spotlight like that do that and then you can select where you want it oh uh, let's say you want it back here or like say you just want like a little spotlight going behind freddy here like that yeah something like that um, I don't suggest making it that bright to each their own. Um, so yeah, um, let's bring that down. Never have it that bright. It's kind of like that. Have it. Um, so we got that, and then we got that, and then you can change the color if you want it to be blue. We got that by so just keeping it white. So it looks better if it's white. It doesn't look terrible like that, but yeah, so then you got a nice little poster, right? And you're like, hey, I'm happy with that. Um, oh, by the way, there's separate little things that should go into those. Horizontal stuff that makes it, like, bigger or smaller. Vertical is basically the same thing. Keeping it like that. Like that. That looks good. Then, um, radius. I don't really know what that does. Ambient intensity. That kind of does things with shadows, which I'm not too good with. Um... Edge height, don't know what that does. Height, don't know what that does. So, volumetric intensity changes the intensity of your volumetric. Specifically your volumetric. Um, so let's just say you want a very dark scene. And you got that. You want a very bright scene, you got that. And you can increase it even more by doing that. And then you have Sonic. We can make that really, we can make that like that. And then we 
again, you can make Sonic. Or you can make a really weird light. Um, but let's not keep it at Sonic. So, okay, you got a nice little poster, right? You're really happy with it. Well, um, do you want to move that poster? No? Too bad. So let's move the camera closer to get some nice animation. Um, again, you can spin the camera around, see how well you did. So let's say you want this poster to be an animation. So then you have to move over to this little line here called the graph editor. Go to the beginning of the animation, which is zero. Then, Snake Freddy, right? So then, wait a few seconds. Like So press M at the very start of the animation. Create a keyframe. And then you want his head to move. Press the keyframe here. Move his head. Let's go back. His head moved. So then we can make another keyframe. Move his head here. Another keyframe. Um. Then we just got his head turning everywhere. Kind of like a twitching movement, but that's not how you do twitching. Silly Johnny. This is how you do twitching. Put one there. Then... Like a millisecond after that, move one there. Move another millisecond after that, move another one there. Um. Keep doing that till so you're very happy with it. So we got a nice little twitching movement. Right? You're really happy with that. Then continue it. Do stuff like that. And that. And that. And that. That and that that so there you really like your twitching movement. You want to move some other bones, right? Well, for one, let's move Freddy's head back to normal. Freddy's head back to normal, right? Then you want to move his arm up. So select that keyframe. Then however long you want to wait, then there, then move that. And you want to have it on um, lower arm move, then create that. Um, but you might notice it's in that same position the whole animation. Make a keyframe right before that happens, and then move his arm right where it was before. So now it looks normal. Right, and you want to do it again. Then, if you want to make a waving motion, do that. Then, do that. Do that again. But I have a better animation for you. So, see this when his arm starts waving? Move his hand like that. And then when his hand moves back like that, um, sometimes there's a glitch with the animation.
great, so we got a little animation. So, you really like your animation. You really like that, right? And then you want his head to turn. Um, do that. Then we can make an arc keeper and move it like that. Then we can have another twitchy twitching movement. Um, right, the, um, that for some reason. I'm going to have his head over here for a frame. And you just want to have like a frame, I don't know, where you can see like Freddy's whole face come off or some something. I don't know. Whatever your animation needs, needs are for your animation. Um, so, for this frame, you want his jaw to open, you want his mask to open, for some reason, it's going to stay like this, I want it to, so before that happens, shut the mask, Um, then you'll want his jaw to not be like that. A little second after that happens, put his jaw back, his mask back, then move his head. Somewhere else. Um. But yeah, so that's basically the the basic of that part of it, of that. Ugh. So um. Then you want to know how to export. I'm not exporting this because I don't really feel like it. So press file, go to export, movie, save. I don't know why I saved this. And then, so you're going to have to install this um this um app called QuickTime in order to render in MP4 because that's basically what I recommend because AVI is very glitchy. Um... If y'all didn't know, that's why I used to render all my animations with. I used to render them with AVI, and oh, MP4 is way better. I rendered my newest animation in MP4, actually. The um, Christmas animation was in um, MP4, and you can tell it looked a little crisper than my other one. So, yeah, um, so say you're happy with it, right? Um, so then. You go to, um, go to the dot, 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 select where you would like to save your stuff. Des I suggest desktop, then name, um, name it, save, 
then press export movie. Um, but oh frick, I hate me too. Um, oh by the way, to make your animation shorter and longer, so let's just say the animation ends right here. Right. Um, take this blue thing right here. Select it. Then move it. Select it. Move it all the way down here. So then we got an animation. Right. And then to make it longer is just do the exact same thing but the opposite. So you just kind of extend it. Um, so when you extend it like that, you have to bring the yellow thing with it. Else your animation won't work. So yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's basically, that's the simple basics of SFM. I hope you enjoyed. The Team VR Freddy will be in the description of the video. Um, see y'all next time. Bye! Oh, see y'all next time. Bye!